Blending in and making sure I drew zero attention to myself consumed my thoughts in high school. I was always a very reserved and timid person, and every morning I made it my goal to create the perfect balance of products blending on my face to blend into the crowd. I was very strategic, and I was critical of every inch of my face, and would not allow myself to leave the house without my eyeshadow being perfectly blended. That's why every single morning at 5 a.m., I would wake up and sit on the floor in front of my full-length mirror, attached to my bedroom door. I would spread out all the products on the floor and meticulously go through my routine, making sure everything was absolutely perfect. If I messed up one little thing, I would scrub off my entire face and start from scratch. These little mistakes were probably something only I would notice. After all, I didn't really talk to anyone in high school and nobody would notice me. But I guess part of going unnoticed was part of this obsession with perfection. Maybe I thought that people would notice that my eyeliner was uneven or if my foundation wasn't blended right. I think that maybe it was the culture of makeup influencers that was so prevalent at this time. I love to watch videos of beauty influencers doing their makeup on YouTube and they made it seem as if absolute perfection was the standard. Having the right products and tools and techniques was what these influencers preached. I remember obsessively watching these videos and trying to copy the makeup looks on myself. What I thought was a hobby became um, an obsession and it wasn't to impress a boy or to get the popular girls to think I'm cool. I don't know what it was about makeup, but perfection was like a drug to me. The perfect blending of shades and the sharp point of my eyeliner was my world. And if I had to go to school with an imperfection of my face, it was all that I could think about all day. I would visualize the crooked eyeliner or the unblended foundation and picture myself sitting on my floor fixing it. That's why I forced myself to get up at 5 a.m. every day to paint on my face.